Let's take a gander and uh, listen into what's going on here. Get a chance to hear the uh, master plan. I guess this is, um, a... guess this is everybody. So this is Operation Eagle Peak. We have chosen the infantry option, so we have the um, only the one BTR. And our objective um, is to secure the hill at Eagle Peak located there. Hill four, Hill one four nine at M, N thirteen two five, five two whatever. And the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to have a full, full platoon stage a Coyote Ridge on the fob creation mark at M ten five four. And then we're going to, once that one's staged, we're going to cross the road on the five point of interest mark there and roughly follow that uh, green arrow mark that I've marked out. And the key to this is just we can't stop. We there can't is tree coverage there. Arrows. Okay, following the five marks here since you can't see my green arrows. We're going to be following the five marks into the uh, hill there at 01319. That is our first objective to take this hill on the lodging mark there. Once we take that hill, we'll push directly west and security fob itself. The key to this is we just can't stop. We have to be aggressive. We're going to be taking fire as soon as we cross the road there. So just keep moving. And we will have the BTR here on the BTR mark to cover us. But other than that, our full platoon is going to be moving all at once. So we just we can't stop, or we're going to get bogged down. And I, I'm just going to try something new here. We're not going to do a platoon file or platoon line. We're going to do fire team column. And your extra to go over more of more basics on it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, one other thing, their their commander is aggressive. So as soon as we get to Coyote Ridge and we cross their road, we should expect contact. So um, keep your eyes and ears open. Also, on the uh, Trudeau mark down here, on the Skull and Cross ones, that's a obvious place that they're going to be, probably. And if they are there and they see us pushing to the north, it is very likely that they wrap around like this, only five marks, and get on that eastern hill, and they'll have eyes directly into, the, um, into our path up the hill. So we have to be wary of that. The BTR should be able to deal with that. Does anybody else have any questions? Pretty Join simple. Line. Squad one, two, three, four, moving like south in this formation. Cool. That's all. Let's break them up. Sure. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Um... U.S. are actually Perfect. briefing. Let's see if we can listen to these guys real quick. Phoenix's squad is going to be moving straight south out of live. Like now, uh, and then West staging are okay. ready for the counter punch. Good luck, guys. Uh, bring it home for the win. Weapons up. Great. Thanks, Blackbeard. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. Get back into squad comms. Here we go. All right. So there you go. That's a great little. Uh, I I'm glad I missed everything. Great. Cool beans. And now we're just going to wait for Russia to move out. They should be coming up along this road. Maybe they'll take a uh, trip to the dairy farm. They'll probably turn at Stepney Dairy Farm. Actually, like right in this area. And then proceed on the road that way towards the ridge. They'll have to go off-road at some point. They may get spotted, actually. See where U.S. forces are rolling to. I can't see them from this distance. Good times. Oh, look at this. The Russians are going to take the uh, major highway here. I guess they're going to take the the main highway. You can see them here moving. First two squads on their way. Proceeding along the main road.
And here comes another fire team. And then the BTR is carrying a squad itself. Here's the BTR-80, the one BTR-80 that Russia's gonna have since, uh... Russia chose the infantry assault option here. Did somebody do something? No, we got on the public side right then. No. And we get the vehicles all turning off the road. They're going to take this uh, riverbed, cry, dried up creek bed, I guess. Take a look at positions. This is right along the ridge line that they want to approach from. They're in defilade. So the only thing that ru the U.S. are going to possibly uh, have is far as where they're approaching from at this point is going to be audio and at that range probably not a lot of audio Russian forces continuing to their dismount point which would probably be fairly soon here there's still a lot of territory to cover at about a kilometer away from their objective. And Russian forces dismounting. Oh no. Oh no. Unload those supplies on the, uh, the dodges. Oh, what, uh... Oh, yeah, no. Look, if you just... Wow. If you crap. wanted to... I'm gonna grab a Lodgy too, because you it's gonna be a two-man effort. Okay. While they get that fixed, uh... Make sure we're not pressing this hill, guys. No one should be crossing or peeking. Russians moving out. Three squads worth, approximately, getting ready to deploy. Of course. Just sweep the mortar up in these, uh, in the lodgy or the BTR and stuff. Course, are moving. And they're going to deploy their mortar. Let's see if we can find the mortar position. Go ahead and unload the lodgies. Are they just going to use all of their stuff? They got the radio down. Let's see what kind of luck they'll have uh, dealing with this. Keep tabs on that. In the meanwhile, we're going to try to find this mortar. I don't think it's been placed yet. Oh, there it is. And it is deployed. Okay, supplies are dropped. And I guess Clay J is going to go ahead and hop on. And the BTR has been on flip. No, it hasn't. Uh, it's been fixed though. Magic. All right, let's take a look at the U.S. position as the Russians are in position now. Yeah, Merrick, you missed it. They uh, they done did it. Looks like U.S. taking a very passive line here. They're not pushing out very far. They do have that uh, force along the trench line here that's approaching this other town in the southeast, exactly as the command predicted, although I wonder if they'll actually move out. 
Let's take a look and see what emplacement the U.S. have decided to deploy here. I can't see an emplacement yet. So I wonder if they're waiting for more information about what they're going to choose here. You're on that hill that I marked previously, but you're going to have to crest before the tree starts moving, so we're waiting on you. I don't see a mortar. They are live. We are live at this point. All right, BTR, free to crest the hill as soon as you're ready. And here we go. The BTR is going to pop over. As soon as that BTR crests, the infantry is moving as well. Away from my move. Got it. Uh, we're ready. Just let us know when. Yep. And once the BTRs sure up on the ridge line, Russia is going to move out. <laughs> you know what happened last night? What? BTR is cresting the hill now. One goes past me. They go down a bit modern. Look at this entire Russian platoon just chilling. Just not all across the road at the same time. Seeing the formation that everyone uh, was that uh, Clay J alluded to in his briefing. Fire team columns, yep. and here we go. Yep. Moving out. Let me know we're taking most fire from so I can swing it off. And Clay J is going to be running the mortars. Let's go, fools. So open. Is ready. We're about to die. Lots of apprehension here as Russia just trench into the trench. runs over. The fuck? Run, booger, Where's run. The Probably this oh my god. Okay, that was nothing. That was just a, uh... That was just a problem. That's been fixed. Inconsequential to the round. No real contact yet. The BTR, however, is pushed pretty far ahead here. And I wonder what we're going to see out of Russia or out of US. Let's take a reset of our map here. I don't see. Oh, is that a tow? Yeah. Let's see if we can spot what the US have brought to the table. And it looks like it may have just been a mortar. No, nope, that's someone in a lodge. So they are going to build something now. Oh, the BTR! Who was that? Sethers, the squad lead is dead. The BTR engages. Sethers on a hilltop. Wow. That's unfortunate. The, uh, the BTR now adding... More suppressive fire here. Another kill for the BTR. With the BTR able to get kills out that far, you got to imagine US is thinking about deploying a to deploying a to tow. So far, I don't see anything. Nope, they have a they have a mortar. They have a mortar off the hilltop. Alright, smoke rounds are out on the bunker itself. Now, don't be fooled. The mortar's position can be rearranged. And here comes smoke. I right, start watching your space, and boy. Yeah, slow it down a bit. Keep the space. Oh, look at this! Russians are just moving out. Seeing smoke rounds come in. And they're screening. Uh, there's a little bit of a clustered mortar, a uh, smoke mortar, but they're just screening this uh, north-northwest approach off for U.S. Here's what it looks like on ground level. The 
They're not really going to be able to see anything from here. BTR all still engaging forces at range here. Let's see if we can find that BTR real quick. It's still back here in the forest. But the infantry have pushed a good two, three hundred meters ahead of the BTR. BTR is literally existing to shoot people. I think I see somebody 175. I can't see that anymore. On that ridge? Yeah. I think I see what you're talking about. Oh yeah. That was the Harv. He's dead. In the open. Just laying there. Oh! 169! One, 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 There's a guy's all bunch running on that. Looks like the BTR has found nah, the... Sure. May have found... May, the BTR anyone. may have found the... Uh, Where on the hill? Oh, the yep, there top, he is. Top, top, yeah. Who was that? That's Beware. 179 or 169? 171, 171, 171. Oh, and Relentless hill, Greg sure. and Don't Get Shot are also spotted too. Hey. I think Relentless just got hit. Oh my gosh, Don't Get Shot. He's getting completely shot up here, but... Is still living. Has any contacts been spotted on the hill south of us? Where we're pushing. Wait a I second. For a second, I didn't see anything. Squad two. I'm gonna keep heading southeast to get around the curve right. of the hill. It's say we're getting pushed. Yeah, Say if we're getting pushed, I'll say Let's contact sure front, rear, left. Guys, make sure we have presence, uh, or at least eyes to the east. Let's figure out where the Russians are. The Russians are just moving out. The wave is about ready to crash over this top hill. Smoke mortar is still going out on the main compound. Command isn't there, though. Command is on the mortar. This squad here in the southeast is about ready to take some contact. Pretty close. There's, uh, U.S. Three guys here front squad one. U.S. mortars going out. Holy crap, the top. And Mighty's gonna lead the- f is leading part of this formation here. They're look- e -faint goes down real quick. Position there, and Efank shot first, but wasn't able to connect. Russians taking some, taking their time here. Godzilla Pro leading from the front. The Russians are going to have a hard time here, moving from hill to hill. Hey, we got contacts in the fortifications to our direct west. Yeah, let's get some more smokes up here. Enemy supporters going up. Just can't slow down, guys. Keep up with the pace. That enemy board is going to hit us. Russians still pushing here. Still taking contacts to our west, about uh, 50 meters. Right, that Command oh. U.S. mortars getting pretty close here, and me, Russians falling back. I'm just throwing a 
given how close these mortars are, you can see the mortar fob is, or the mortar uh, deployment is right here. Mortars are falling within about 100, 150 meters. It means it's got a huge hang time. Russians still taking some damage here. I think that's your nightmare. Yep, your nightmare grabs one who is cresting against him. You can take a look at the position here. Godzilla Pro has a little bit more foliage between him. Here comes a grenade. And the grenade is overthrown. Your nightmare just sitting at the base of the tree. Squad one, we want to suppress over your head. Uh, take cover. Mortars still real close to the Russian front line. The Russian front line is effectively stalled out here, too. real close and US actually taking some casualties here that was uh, I guess that was relentless Greg no maybe it's someone else but someone definitely got killed frag rockets this is not good actually uh, Blackbeard is gonna have the mortar for his life he's basically pointing that mortar tube straight up I mean look at it it's got like 87 degrees here of verticality and the mortar is almost. Oh, there's a direct hit. More mortar hits. Money Man's dead. Direct hit from a mortar. Blackbeard must seriously be just like waving his mouse around every time he shoots around. With the Russians all within about 150 meters. All he's got to do is point that thing straight up and just go for it. A little bit more of a volley there in a, in a solid position. Russians are going to get in some uh, trench lines here. Some naturally trench lines. They have to push. Although there's really not much they can do. They have to push in. Let's see. U.S. forces are, I guess, off the point? There's a U.S. squad that's flanking. U.S. squad three is flanking in the north of the hillside. If the BTR catches them, that squad is over. But the BTR is just rolling up. They're gonna, the BTR is gonna get up on the hill yep, you're holding. and try to support. U.S. forces able to, uh, are definitely shooting in here. They have an AR. Maybe Uncle Niner? Maybe that's Beware Don't Get Shot. Mortar's landing close again. Getting real close to some Russian units. They have to know that the mortar is real close here. Matter of fact, Godzilla Pro is sneaking up. He's trying to make a shot from his opposite ridge line. I think they're inside the mortar radius now, but there's really not much they can do. If they run down this hill, they're going to get killed. He's got uh, Jenga's on the mortars now. He's got music and your nightmare covering him. The only thing they can really do here is smoke off the mortar. Your nightmare has got his AR on any, any of these Russians peek over the hill. They're done for. Yeah, 
they're trying to pinpoint where these mortars are coming from. With the Russians this far, this close, they should be able to get a pretty good idea. AR is just grazing to the top of Russian heads right now. Another casualty. That was Minky's dead. The BTR is rolling up here. We'll see how long the BTR lives. And the U.S. forces are now getting shot in the back. Or the U.S. forces are destroying the Russians here. Akari's dead. Maybe another one. U.S. taking a casualty here. I think it was Rainbow Six. Russians lucky enough to have some folks in this back line here. More casualties for U.S. This scouting squad lucky enough to survive here. About a fire team size element behind. Grenades getting close there and actually hits a uh, molder there. Trading grenades at that range. You Russians are really getting uh, picked apart here. 19 deaths for Russia, uh, 17 or 17 kills for US, 11 kills for Russia. Numbers are coming down here, but the BTR has to make a difference and has to start making more of a difference right now. That mortar from the US. Oh, K9 gets a double kill! Wow, what a rocket from K9. All the all the all the BTR has to do now is just move out. Russians in the open, they're trying to get out of here, but your nightmare has that position on the hill, and these guys are stuck. It's going to take one mortar, one rocket, and that's three kills. Everyone damages the mortars. The mortars have turned to this position. With the mortars being added here. If he just adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of elevation here, and here comes more smokes, infantry smokes from Russia. Oh, these guys are real close. The mortar's getting really close. The mortar's directly defending itself. Oh, there's actual kill, and there goes another one. Russians trying to push out. Groot dies. Kenai's the last one alive. He dies to a mortar. And I bet you the BTR is starting to get a little cooked right there. The BTR moves ahead and throws more smoke. Infantry that pushed forward is dead there. The mortar, basically vertical, is having a great effect on Russian, Russian troops. They're not able to push anywhere. Meanwhile, on the hillside, looks like Russian forces are keeping this flanking force from doing anything, but all the flanking force has to do is just push up the hill. Russians are stuck. And they're not able to do anything. This mortar is tremendously important right now. Now the mortar is pushing out. It's trying to mortar the hillside. More rockets. And the BTR is going to move out here. Ooh. Renibus. Get lucky there. With the smoke covering now. Revis makes it to the uh, shed. These mortars are tremendous. Revis is screwed if he tries to get... Oh, he's going to run for it. There's no one there. Your nightmare's dead, so... Oh! Redibus doesn't quite make it. He's about 40 meters away. The BTR, however, makes it. There we go. The mortar operator is gone. Smoke's coming out. This is uh, music. He's trying to get out of the position. He's stuck. Mortar. Tremendous value for that mortar, though. Let's see. Okay, that was, uh... Hey, you... We just figure out. That was Jenga. He's got seven hey, kills on the mortar.
A Wait, great I'm job holding. there by Jenga for U.S. forces like holding off the entirety of their Russian momentum. They had pushing up that hill, get in there. He's dead. Hey, hey, right. right next to my and now, lad, tell these two guys to push left. Guys, just the BTR. Push. 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 The BTR is trying yeah, to, to motivate its uh. Yeah, what happened to? It's infantry there. Infantry on the hill. They're doing their job, trying to get in there. Boys, watch out. BTR, we are covering your BTR still has to be careful because all it takes is a uh, heavy anti-tank, which the U.S. definitely have. Frag rocket flies up and over the hill. U.S. forces, with the smoke mortars, are definitely uh, not able to see more frag rockets coming in. That didn't result in any kills. Russians got to put some more explosive ordnance over there. With the mortars gone... Save a couple smokes for when you get closer. I'll tell you when you're bloomed and then you push, okay? Now music is going to throw a grenade here if it goes up the hill oh, far enough. Yeah, Subway Samurai gets destroyed. And music is gonna die to some explosive frag here. Using the explosive cannon on music. That's good. The BTR. Russia needs an answer, or US needs an answer to this BTR. Hey, do you have with the guys to the south? U.S. still have a pretty good stronghold. They have a, about a squad size element on the hilltop here. Let's take a look and see where some other elements are. Ooh. Are these Russians? Yes, they are. A sled of and chicken are pushing around. Let's do it. Now they're pushing the hill. Maybe this is a fire team that was... This is a fire team that's probably on this... Uh, Southern. Let's move it quick. Uh, yeah, the southern hillside there. They're pushing all the way around. You're so going, far, going? Okay. there's only one person that could potentially be I'm looking at these road. guys. If I die, maybe two. Yeah, I think there's only one person that's got eyes over here, and that's Command. Is the only one with potentially eyes on this push from the South Hill. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, and, yeah. and command is U.S. command is looking through this hole. Uh, command. What's may the, uh, not. Uh, oh, maybe we'll they will. Ha maybe he will have eyes on. We just need to push the fob. Push the right. He's actually looking this around. Squad three. When you get to me, I think he anticipates uh, being snuck up on, but the Russians in defilade. The Russians still in defilade with Blackbeard with his eyes up, with his Binox up. Uh oh. That was a BTR. With a hat, uh, with the amount of hats that US had, there's really a low chance of success for that, that BTR to actually get closer. Blackbeard moves off the point. He could be shot in the back here very soon. Is Elijah yet? There's a guy right here. Should I just pop him? They're gonna know we're here. I think it's their commander. Oh no, chicken! Their, their, command, their commander's right here. Their commander's right here. I didn't pop him. And Blackbeard hears yeah. it. Blackbeard heard him switch weapons. Oh man, they, he, they lost the chance to hit him in the back. Blackbeard getting on his horn, telling guys he's got guys close. And chicken... Chicken's got his gun right, out. I'm gonna knife. I'm gonna knife their command. Never mind. Okay, they know we're here now. They know we're here. They know we're here. Ah! Oh no! Chicken barely gets out no of there grenades. before no Sunny oh, turns on him. Oh! Sunny deals with them both. Look at that! Sunny shot them through the hole.
Wow. That's impressive. Oh. Uh, Clay joins the fight now. Russians basically done for. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah, they're basically done for. Uh, the only one left alive is Command. Woo! So let's get in here and follow Command on in. I don't think there's anyone else alive. Uh, yeah. So the team that snuck up behind was finally able to uh, get in there and clear everything out. It's a valiant effort, though. Uh, so far, 25 kills for Russia. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, was there actually people, still people alive? What is that going on down there? I don't know. It's just Clay J. Clay J throwing a grenade here. More frags. Trying to get Russia to, or trying to get the US to figure out he's over here. How many US are left? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Probably on the order of twelve to fourteen US left. Squad and a half. Strength. And here comes Clay J. Not able to do anything effective there at the end. And I believe that's it. Unless I'm missing anyone. Nope. I think that's it. Round one. Goes to the U.S. Defenders. And with that, we will take a short break. Looks like we're getting closer to a platoon brief status here. Uh, Jack. I have assigned kids, but not plans yet. I right, don't, don't worry, I'll just explain it now and then you guys can... For some reason, there's still a squad in the sh BTR here. All right, ladies, gentle folk, and uh, members of the Russian Armed Forces, are today to take uh, what the uh, imperialist Americans have called Eagle Peak. Of course it's not, it's Babushka Hill. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't worked that one out yet. I'll work nice. Um, the plan is very simple, we are taking the mechanized option. The platoon is going to split into two elements. Uh, we're not going to do the normal thing that the, Russian, uh, the Americans would be expecting, which is push from the north and push from the west, or even do what they did and try and push from the east. We instead are going to take the, uh, the go down to the tropical route, i.e. coming from the south. Uh, off live, Sether Squad is going to be the exception. He's decided that he likes being in the north, so um, he's going to drive a Logi truck from here straight down the eastern MSR. He's going to drive to the infantry marker November 852, dismount his squad, and then start uh, sneaky breaky observing the uh, hilltop and moving slowly towards that, uh, that hill, uh, trying not to be seen. Okay, he's going to be our, uh, our backdoor surprise. No pun intended. Uh, Whoa. The rest of the platoon are going to mount up in BTRs, and we are going to go on a road trip uh, down the uh, major highway that goes uh, from roughly the northeast corner of the map to the roughly western center portion of the map. Uh, and then we're going to drive all the way around, uh, and these fading um, infantry marks will give you, and the helpful arrows will show you our route. We're doing this so we stay out of audio range. Um, they'll probably work out I'm doing something fucky after about 10 minutes of not hearing anything. Uh, but by the time they've worked out, we will be in position in the November 1649 area. We will dismount all our guys out of the uh, BTRs, except for obviously the crews. And then we will drive the entire platoon up to that ridge. Uh, there is a trench here. You need to make sure that you're all set in this trench, looking onto the hill uh, before we start opening up. Right. It's a trench at November uh, 15. If they haven't got very good security, we're just going to, you know, surprise them, 
fuck everything up, shoot everything, and then eventually, when most of them are dead, we'll do a charge of the light brigade across the valley into the American guns. Does anyone have any questions? Superb! All right, your squad leads, and we'll wait for life. Good luck, boys. Well done, last round. Blood. Close. All right. Russians gonna go all the way around the map. Wait, no, you're Switzerland now. That means there's only gonna be one squad on the point. I mean, we are alive now. Uh, Round two of Operation Eagle Peak. I'm B Carr. If you're just joining us, this is a one life operation, which means that once you get knocked unconscious, uh, you're done, so. And, uh, we are starting round two here. Blackbeard is running Russia this round. And Russia has, let me pull up the teams here. Blackbeard with Phoenix, BVD Runner, Hawk, and Sethers are his squad leads. Clay J is running US this round with Dwarf, Godzilla Pro, UJ Key, and Oddball. And there's three BTRs and a transport truck rolling down the highway. Sethers has the transport truck here. I think he's going, or the, you know, what, this is a Logi truck, actually, I guess. He's going to deploy his squad north, and he's going to run around and get in position. Uh, it's going to be an interesting, uh, I think these guys are going to be sitting here for a long while. See Sethers driving the, the Lodgy. Oh, so this is the distraction squad to keep the U.S. heads down. They're going to throw all of their rockets. Then they're going to use the uh, truck to rearm their rocket launchers. Nice. All right, so we're going to wait. Let's see how Sethers does. Russian forces are still moving along the map. Let's see if we can see them from up here. Yep, there they are. You see the glorious... Uh, you see the glorious inter interpolation there. The magic of... Uh, Wrong side of the road? Eh, it's debatable. The Russians drive on the right, though, right? <clears throat> I think the Russians wanted to... I think the Russians wanted to put their guys on Coyote Ridge. Oh, no. What are they going to do? They're just setting up right here? Are these guys nuts? Are they going to get in the... They're just going to shoot rockets on the hill from here. No, here we go. Now they're moving out. They're not taking the Lodgy with them, though. So... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. So do you have eyes on from your current position? Um, I can definitely see the hill. I'm not seeing anyone right now. I'm still trying to get our guy, my guy set up. Uh, I'll be All able right, to tell you in about a minute. Alright, set up, uh, just set up there for now. OP, range your RPGs just in case, uh, we need to. Got it. Okay, uh, mechanized squad, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, basically once we get just east of the quarry, the Foxtrot 1585, just pull directly south, uh, go off road through the 16 grid marks, the grid line. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to get something technical worked out here. Just one moment, please. Uh, BTR squads, make sure all your members know, unless they are fired upon, they are to hold fire. We're going to try and sneak the squads up first, get eyes on, see what they're doing with the entire platoon, apart from the BTRs, all right. and then we'll roll the BTRs up as a second wave. Solid cut. I would advise they stay low, as in prone, uh, when they start cresting the hill. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, <clears throat> US positions here. We have a fire team deployed to the north. And looks like a fire team deployed to the uh, southwest, just like we thought. A buddy team watching this field to the uh, northeast. Sorry, I just had a couple things I just wanted to get doing there. There's their squad plus. Uh, it looks like a squad in the trench to the southeast. Two, and on the uh, tree line. They have three BTRs and a transport truck. Or the Lodgy, yeah. rather. Full direct south, uh, go through the 16 grid three now. BTRs almost... <laughs> To the main north-south highway in the middle of the map. They're almost southwest of the Yeho airfield. Blackbeard, this is uh, Sethers. I am not seeing... None of my guys are actually seeing... Matter of fact, they're off the road now. Uh, okay, that's cool. You guys can start pushing in. Oh, uh, they hit a tree. Maybe try Whoops. and get eyes on the hill to the east of the point. Just keep creeping forward. I mean, what you see, get as close as you can. If they stay close to the uh, southern limit of the air operation area, they may have less of a chance to get plotted. Let's take a look and see if we can spot them from the hill. All right, head east, head east from uh, that mark. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to say no. If they stay south of the hill, I mean, look at this. These guys are all spread out on the adjacent high ground. A fire team out there. This is the main U.S. hold point on Hill uh, 139, 149, 149. This is the hill, this is 149. This is 149. You got some fortifications. Look at this. And they're building things. Now, they have a mortar. So they're not going to use the toes. So this is unfortunate for U.S. They built the mortar ahead of time instead of trying to figure out what's going on here. U.S. going to be very fortified, but against four B or three PTRs, uh, those sandbags will not last very long. Blackbeard, just to be and if the infantry is pushed up on the sandbags, they're going to get damaged from sandbag uh, from the uh, BTR cannon fire. Has expressed some concern about pushing across the open. Do we have a uh, permission to maneuver uh -oh. our pushing up that hill? Yeah, we do. The, the I'm taking shot. Sethers was spotted. Vader Centurion and Arcardi spotted Sethers in the north. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So, so Vader has spotted these guys at near enough 600 meters. And I don't think he's just got a rifle. 
Go on the other side. Copy, Black. So that's one squad. That's bad news. So I think these guys are going to be uh, <clears throat> getting back in their lodge and moving out. Okay, Only well, spotting one, one squad at people this people distance, though. It's got to be ringing some bells. Okay, That's the not the whole force. So you got to imagine U.S. are still apprehensive about any other direction other than the north at this point. BTR is getting in position now. Uh, you can see on the map, they're getting close to their ridge point. And let's see if there's any U.S. forces looking south here. No. No one looking south. We got a uh, hat user here with a Carl Gustav. And more fire here. Squad one pushes further to the right down that trench to make room for squad four. I think these are the Russians shooting back? We will work it out. Yeah, the Russians are spraying. You can see the tracers come in. I think they're beginning a long range suppression of the fob. Yeah, you can see the tracers left to right. They're shooting at the hilltop. They're shooting at any hilltop they can see. Blackbeard, my guys are Look at this engagement range. This is nuts. Engagement range is actually I'm nuts. To you in again, Mark. Yeah, I'm just, I lost okay. complete. Yeah. I could Hold. used to be able to see them all. I can't see anyone. You want the yeah, they're hiding now. I don't know. Yeah. Remember, stay low once you start crushing the hill. Okay, two, what's this contact like on the north yeah, so I'm gonna put that down, down here by this cluster of trees. Alright guys, hey, everybody get ammo and then fall back. Now we're all back. We're gonna shoot and then we're gonna fall back. Okay. Target and let me know what you see. Let me know what you see. Can I get an ammo back? Hey, Blackbeard, we have their attention um, from their straight north. Now we're backing off. Now, do you want me to go east or west to move off? Because now they're just pressing us. Now we can move ahead from different places. Uh, start moving. Stay, go west. Fourth wall break. What? Towards the center north as possible. All right. Squad three, take I hope the not. End. Oh, mortars. The end. So I guess they're ranging mortars now. Okay, that's perfect. Stand by, stand by, stand by. What do we see any targets on the south side of the hill? Command, I see they've built up a position on the southwest side of the hill. I see infantry movement southwest portion of the tree line. So we can find where Phoenix is. There's Phoenix. Let's take a look here and see what Phoenix can possibly see at this point. He's got Binox out for sure. Center, that will be basically anywhere Look at the this. He has eyes uh, directly on the hill from here. Cover anything, uh, with the U.S. forces there. moving around. Quick scratch and chicken. And then they are, um... Everyone cool. Just shoot anything you can see on my mark, okay? Do you acquire your targets and let's right. you're ready. Here we go. The Russians are going to begin their attack. Copy. I think the U.S. have definitely spotted them. Yeah, look at that. Quit scratching chicken. They're looking down here. I think they may have even seen BTRs? Question mark? No, the BTRs are still withdrawn. Command, at what point are we rolling BTRs forward? As soon as we open fire, we'll bring them up over the hill. We don't want to give away our position just yet. BTRs, we want to fire. Sorry, wrong trauma. Wrong trauma. Are we cut Turn those engines off. If they hit the engines, it's all over. Right. Do you have your target squad leads? One, three, and four. Call in. Oh no, Blackbeard's crested 
So I bet you they spotted Blackbeard. Alright boys, open fire! Open fire! Frag rockets and fire go out. Demon Einstein is hit. More rockets. Looks like they're overshooting the hill. And there goes Quick Scratch dead. U.S. moving? No, U.S. holding in position. Oh, looks like maybe these guys are actually shooting back. Yeah. So, U U.S. forces are engaging on the opposite bridge line to the east. Uh-oh. I think Blackbeard just got killed. Nope, Blackbeard's not dead, but someone did die. Rip. So the Russians definitely have eyes on. Or the U.S. definitely have eyes on. The Russian died. have pretty good positions here. I don't think they're really... They're suppressed, and the BTRs are now starting to add in fire. Lima beam with knee holes. Mortars are starting to come in. That's really close mortar fire. Ooh, look at this. Uh-oh. Here we go. Silent Dick's fault. Raptor Force and Lad, a fire team in the village over here. Okay, where in relation to me? They might be meeting uh, Phoenix. I think they got spotted actually. So this is really close contact here. And with a squad in the hills beyond, this fire team. Oh no! Oh, Silent is on, gone up. Manacle turns the corner here. He might be able to see these guys in the open. Is anyone looking north? No one's looking north. Everyone's going through the town. So Phoenix is over here. He's trying to get... Oh no, Revy! Dwarf! Dwarf snags a kill. Silent is stuck. The rest of his fire team gets back to cover. BTR now now coming up on the village. Muff Bandit and Ronan. Welcome back, Muff Bandit. Ooh, Evan and K9. They're looking at tracers. I think Muff just saw it. He sees more tracers. Well, you may not. Might be guys up zero seven nine zero eight zero. I saw tracers. Yeah, yeah I've seen tracers. They're more like yeah, they're like zero eight five. Oh, they get hit. Where was that from? No. I wonder if it's all falling apart for Russia now. Mortars coming in. Close to Phoenix's position. Russian Southern Force not pushing up. Silas Groot. Silas Groot, K9, Evan are on this hill. The BTR kills Groot as his Groot's in the open. Alright, gentlemen, here's the plan. One and three will clear this southeast sector and then push up using the uh, r those uh, ditches. As one, you're from the north. Lots of fire here. Should be uncontested. We have most of their attention now. Four, you will be the final approach. You will charge across once we. Uh, the BTR moving into support. This is the second BTR as the first one been hit. Oh, he's got a fire team in there with him. This is, uh, I guess that's, um. Copy that. Three is moving to secure that position. There. Lima Bean. Yeah, Lima Bean is sending that BTR. Drops off a fire team. They're going to move out. 
They want to take that hill, and I think they're getting shot up. Three is moving to charge that hill. BVD runner in command of that squad. They're trying to get eyes on the position. K9 and Evan are bugging Seven out. Silas is stuck here, looks like. Maybe he wants to try to uh, see what's going on here. Here we go. Fire team bounds across. Mortars coming out here from U.S. Oh, mortars are on the US oh, Russian position. Jenga and Beware go down. Maybe there was a rocket meant for the BTR, and it fell a little short. Could also be the case. Spacing. Lull. Dorf is squad leading, so... He probably doesn't have a buddy directly connected to him. Alright, four, give me an estimation of how many guys are left on that hill. In fact, BTR yeah. moves into the open. This could be bad news, but Everybody everyone else seems to be suppressed. Mortars falling on another squad. This is the northern squad. This was Sethers. Right, two. How's it going? They're moving pretty close. They're actually uh, moving right up on them. Although there are still Americans looking at them. Good stuff. You keep them fucking. We're gonna sandwich them if they if they're between. Are they on the hill or are they between you and? And U.S. forces adding fire here. Russians moving under cover, uh, under fire. They're doing pretty good. I mean, I wonder how much longer they're going to be able to move, but... It's pretty accurate fire. More mortars. Break, break, break. 8-3, the guys that you guys are chasing, they're now bounding out of P-15-8-9. Heading like northwest bound, northwest bound. Copy one. All right, one of me, just keep pushing in. We're gonna sound two BTRs in this southern village here. Squad mounts back up in the BTR, and I think they're gonna be YOLOing. Are they, are they YOLOing? Okay, get straight they're the moving north. Oh god. Here we go. The BTR is charging the hill. The BTR is charging the hill with a full squad. It's not good. Oh man. This is a risky move. BTR continuing to move up. Going as fast as I can. With the uh, with the hill here, the BTR has to drop down a gear. It was going to move slow, but it is in defilade to all forces. The BTR is going to have a squad of troops dropped off right here, so it's going to be one squad versus one squad. Smoke deployed, and U.S. forces are now turning to anticipate contact. They have much. Re they have many reinforcement or many uh, fortifications here. Uh, once you hit the trench, there is a uh, fortified position occupied direct north of you. There are guys in the trench who are about charged. There are truck guys in the trench. About charge. Oddball with the grenade. We're get eating some grenades here. You uh, Russian forces. And your nightmare gets spotted, but able to hide behind a rock. Redibus deploys. If Russia throws a grenade right now, they might be able to get a kill. And Redipus is going to try to fall back, give Russia the foothold on the hill. Copy that. That could have gone really badly if U.S. forces were uh, peeking out here. Get 
grenade gets close. I think music got hit actually, but he's not bleeding. Lucky for him. Hawk has an entire m most of his squad now moved in moving on up. The BTR is starting to push up this hill too. This is uh, be ready, Gunner. Hmm, I'm I'm wondering. Chicken over here with this. Oh, he's not even pushed up. If I run you over, I apologize. Uh oh. oh. BTR not able to cross the trench line. So it's gonna go. It's gonna move laterally here along the infantry element. It's trying to support. This could be good, but it's gonna open them up to a lot more fire. Now with the BTR stopped, gonna add some supporting fire here. Let's take a look and see. From the above, rockets are being fired on the position, but was a little short. Meanwhile, look at this. Southern squad actually makes it up the hill. Liberal pundit and beat and uh, was this Mark? Mark hit Scrubius. And there's another enemy 149 on this big like tree right here in front of us with the bush on it. Definitely knows where Scrubius is. Scrubius is sort of stuck here. He can't move. That's east, but don't worry. He's gonna try to shoot through the ridge. There he goes, he's dead. Running. Scrubius not moving means uh, he got stuck behind some concealment. Wasn't able to cover. BTR gets hit in the back. Well, by a lat. If that was a hat, he'd be gone. And the BTR moves around. No more real threat to his, uh, wait. Skeleton doesn't have a rocket out. Oh no, the BTR got screwed up. It lost a wheel. That means the mobility for the BTR is down tremendously, but look at this position it has. It might have enough elevation on the gun to be able to snipe people that are looking out. But with the wheel gone now, that's bad news. Let's take a look at some other positions here. U.S. still not consolidating the Northwest squad. The Russians have cleared out the town to the southeast. Ooh, what the... Maybe it got hit again. Mark, you have command comms. Oh shit. Back to me. Mark. Okay, Mark, very simple. You and is that liberal? Yeah, that's liberal. You two liberal, are gonna correct. sit. Make sure you don't let anyone in from the east. You're gonna keep them from reinforcing the point. Copy, copy. Were you three safe yeah. here from command? Me and you We're gonna, are gonna move up their entire force off the, the east from pushing to the west of the point. Good stuff. It was just us two fighting Very these guys. There's not that many people yeah. left over here on the east. The Simonaz and Efank. Matter of fact, uh oh, Muff gets Muff's BTR gets hit. They're able to get out before it pops. Great thinking by great reactions by Muff and Ronan. BTR with a uh, fire team's worth of infantry in it, pushing up the hill. Now, let's see. Oh no, that's heavy AT. BTR gets hit pretty substantially. Infantry's hopping out. Maybe that wasn't heavy AT. Another BTR goes down. Oh, think hit pretty hard. He might bleed out. He bleeds out. And even Oz, yep. So even Oz and Efank able to stop the BTR. Pretty close range here. BTR is not out of it yet. Right, 
three. Are they dead? U.S. still have a fire team supporting them from their northwest. I don't know how effective they're being right now, but... Oh, who is this? Modern Death and... Modern Death, Swiggity, and Fox Mulder. Whoa! They're real close! Crawling up on each other, Mulder able to get medical. How close are these... Is he what? He's right there behind the rock. Mulder's dead. Swiggity's got hit. Modern Death got hit. How did these guys get down here? Soccer, you got a name? Modern Death gets shot up. Swiggy's the last one alive here, and Soccer Penguins is pushing up. Maybe he doesn't have a grenade. Swiggity. There could be more. I do need you on comms. Yeah, copy. They're super close. Gets shot from the back. Your nightmare. Wow, what awareness from your nightmare. From the top of the U.S. hill. Not a bad recovery there. A fire team's worth of Russians remain. Let's get an updated casualty count here. 19 kills for Russia, 22 kills for U.S. And Clay J on the mortars. Might be... Another volley goes out. The first one hasn't even landed yet, so he must be pretty confident where he's going to put this. Yeah, he's trying to get your nightmare. Your nightmare gets tagged. Not bleeding, but tagged. And here comes another volley. There's three volleys. Ooh. A direct hit. Gets your nightmare on the second volley. So one more volley is not going to get music. Oh, music actually got hit by that one. This is a second mortar or an explosive that music has been able to dodge getting bled out to. Actually tremendous there. What luck. Oh no, Muff Bandit, Soccer Penguins, Ronin and Darkness get pinned down. UJ Key trying to put tar rounds on target, live to play loud, doing the same. No one has respawned, Varial. This is a one life event. Wow, look at this BTR! He don't give a damn that US has a lot of AT. Now, this position could be really good. I'm looking at Might be able to spot some US forces that aren't in proper cover. And Chicken is a Carl Gustav user. You can see him. He's got himself. Oh, I killed him, but he hit us. Are we burning? Oh, uh, we're burning. Get, get, out, get, out, out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I'll try to repair. Can Nihol... Oh, that was tough. Woof. The BTR is down, but trades. One BTR, there's no crewman that kill, but a nice attempt there by Chicken. That was a head-on attack by the, um... You Russian forces. Steven Einstein and Slev holding this trench line. They got a real good position here. This could really hold off the point here. Clay J. Ooh, a frag rocket overshot the uh, the bunker area here. Russian forces moving in. Update: twenty-two kills for Russia, twenty-eight kills for U.S. Smoke's going in to try to obscure this U.S. position from Russians advancing. Russians pushing up slowly but surely. Soccer Penguins actually has pretty good eyes on. Demon Einstein wants to take a peek here. This may be bad news for him. Hmm. 
Everybody hunker down. I don't think we do. Everybody just hunker down right now. Cover a sector. Ronan trying to give out some orders here. Cover a sector. Ronan's pushed up pretty badly. Um, was that friendly or enemy? It was probably enemy. He was probably trying to throw a grenade at Are me. Are you good, Darkness? Oh, look uh, at this. Akardi and the fire team pushes across the field. Vader's pushing along the top yeah, side, the happen. north side. Lego Dude and Live to Play Loud are in the open. Trying to reinforce the hilltop here. This could be a turning point for U.S. defense. Although they aren't really pushing out. Russia, or U.S. forces still a fire team out of position, and they're coming in from the east. Ronan is moving around. Ronan wants Ronan wants this position. There's a guy directly two seven seven from me. Liberal Pundit gets shot from his north. Ronan tries to take shots at Slev. No joy. Vader able to cover. Liberal Pundit has, gets hit. Oddball is moving around. Oddball takes a shot at Liberal's body. May have just spoiled himself. Ronan's looking this way. Ooh, that's close. Oddball almost gets himself. Ooh, oh. If Oddball peeks his head up above this ridge line, Ronan might actually be able to have a shot at him. But with this, with the uh, the grass in the way, I don't think he saw him. And Ronan only has a uh, AK. He's got a 74U, or he's got a uh, he's got a short rifle. So, not the best weapon, but better than nothing. Command in a tent. Rockets and grenades. A U.S. Lodgy pops. Lego dude wants to push up in here. And live to play loud, getting shot from the, uh, shot from far here. Or maybe he's trying to shoot out. Maybe I'm just misinterpreting what's happening here. Could be a Cardi shooting out too. Darkness runs up on live to play loud. I think Darkness may have actually run enough rifle ammo. He tried a uh, knife charge. Akari's dead, though. Ronan clears the bunker. Lift the plate out, has to bandage, so maybe he got shot there. Russian forces all but gone now. I think it's just down to Ronan, actually. I don't see anyone else up. Command is dead. It's just Ronan. Lift the play loud, running around. Trying to link it back up with Vader, I guess. And I think Ronan just hurt him. Ronan's gonna take a shot. Ronan's gonna miss. Oh, finally hit. And God, ticks down. Jesus Christ, how many rounds does it take? I only got one mag left. You heard him, he's only got one mag left. So that's it. Ru US is gonna be able to hold off the hill, but Russia, able to push on the hill, get a pretty good command of the point. They just never had the Not numbers. Wherever you are. They just never had the numbers to push. Oh, uh, okay. It's not nice. Ooh, the grenade actually a frag gets Ronan, and he has to bandage. This ah! Oh, he bleeds out. <laughs> so that's it. That wasn't very glorious. Looks like. Two, four, six, eight, eight U.S. left at the end of that round.